Dave McCann here again from ABKT, and uh, we're in the office today. We wanted to spend some time going over our ABKT Elite uh, Hunting and Tactical line. Uh, we designed this line uh, trying to design knives that functioned well, uh, had good material so that you could use them every day, and it would stand up to lots of use in skinning and hunting and in tactical use. And uh, let's start over here with our uh, scavenger line. Uh, one of our most popular lines. We have it in uh, uh, G10 handles. Uh, it's D2 stone wash blade steel and uh, it's got ball bearing assisted opening. So uh, it's a liner lock with a ball bearing assisted opening with a D2 blade steel with a stone wash finish. Uh, it, it is a four inch closed length. So uh, we have it in the uh, uh, desert tan we have it in uh, black G10 handles, same stone wash blade. And we also have it in a Tanto. Uh, and the difference in this one is, is that if you look, there's the liners are blue titanium coated. And we did this in honor of the police force. So uh, for a thin blue line. So uh, this uh, ABO 26 uh, Predator Tanto uh, is uh, designed for the police department. And that's our scavenger line. And in the same mode, we also developed uh, a fixed blade to go along with it, which we call the Predator. And uh, the Predator is the same construction as far as a G10 handle. It's contoured G10 handle, full tank construction, uh, D2 blade with a stone wash finish. And if you look at the uh, contour uh, from the top, you can see how it's contoured to your hand. Uh, you'll see the full tank construction all the way around, and it's hollowed out underneath to get the balance right so it's easy to use. It's got a little coil uh, to the blade so you can get your finger up in there and, uh, and really skin with it when you want to use it to, uh, to skin and cut things with it. Uh, it comes with a Kydex sheath uh, with a press fit. It comes with a belt clip on the back. Uh, you can uh, reverse it for a right hand or a left hand wear. Just take the screws out and uh, put the clip on the other side. And the clip is uh, open on the top, as you can see here, so that uh, if you don't want to take your belt off and feed it through, you can slide your belt through the top and come in and hook it in uh, and without having to take your belt off if you want to put it on. And that's our uh, uh, Predator fixed blade in uh, Desert Tan and in Black. Also in our ABKT Elite line, we have what we call the Nighthawk. And we've got it in desert tan and black as well. Just a, a little different uh, than the uh, scavenger in that it's a clip blade, but it's still D2 uh, and stone washed. Uh, still G10 handles, but it's contoured more where the uh, scavenger is uh, textured and flat. And it comes with a, a pocket clip with a little deeper carry. Uh, and it is reversible from the left hand to the right hand uh, on the pocket clip. And they do come with, a, uh, all of them come with ball bearing pivot systems when you open them, a little trigger uh, to open them with, and they roll all the way open until they become locked. And uh, that's the Nighthawk in the uh, black and then the Coyote tan handle. And then for a little bigger and aggressive blade, uh, we've got what we call the uh, Generation 2, and we have them in orange and black. But the blade is a whole lot wider, but it's still D2 and stone washed. Uh, it's still a ball bearing pivot system and uh, still G10 handles, a little contoured, which you can see uh, and rounded and, and to mold to your hand. Uh, but the blade is very wide and very thick, so very durable. But you put a lot of pressure on it to skin with or to cut with. Um, comes with a, a pocket, tip down pocket clip, like many of the others we have. And uh, we have this in the orange and the black. Then we also have uh, these in a mossy oak camo. And uh, here's the scavenger in a mossy oak camo. And it's the uh, big country mossy oak camo. Um, and we call these the ghost predator uh, and the ghost scavenger. Uh, but uh, same D2 blade steel, same ball bearing pivot system. And uh, uh, with the mossy oak uh, big country breakout pattern on it. And that's in the scavenger and in the predator. 
The other two knives I want to mention today is the uh, Laramie. And the uh, Laramie is a D2 blade steel with a uh, Coca Bola handle, but it is a uh, liner lock uh, with a ball bearing assisted opening. It's got the pressed on thumb stud if you want to open it with a thumb stud. Um, but uh, uh, this knife has a unique shape in that it helps you uh, with getting into tight places uh, with the way the knife is, uh, the blade is designed. Uh, it also has a reversible pocket clip, uh, which you can put on the uh, left hand or right hand side. So that's the Laramie folding knife. And then last but not least, one of our more popular ABKT Elite knives is the Warthog. And uh, the reason it's popular is it's got a cutoff tip. Uh, the cutoff tip uh, allows you to uh, be used for uh, skinning and getting into tight places without uh, using the tip to puncture areas you don't want to get into. Uh, it is D2 blade steel. It's got a, a liner lock on it, uh, so it's uh, uh, easy to flip open with the uh, uh, trigger on the back with the ball bearing. And it does have a thumb stud hole, a wedged out hole, so you can open it that way as well. But it has a left hand and right hand pocket clip, as you can see in these holes here. Uh, this pocket clip uh, it comes in two different, you have two when you buy the product, uh, whether you want to do it left hand or right hand. It's got uh, G10 scales um, and a, uh, stainless steel liners uh, for, for durability. And that's the Warthog uh, folding knife. And that's four and a half inches in closed length. Okay. So that's our uh, D2 Elite line. Uh, but we also have some um, uh, other styles and a more uh, uh, common carry knife, EDC knife. Uh, and we'll go through those as well. Uh, this is called a Game Raider uh, folding knife. It's four and a half inches in closed length. Uh, it's a CR13 MOV blade steel, uh, gray titanium coated. Uh, and this is a spring assist knife. So uh, it's got a trigger and it pops open with the uh, spring assist, uh, the liner lock. Uh, you can use it, uh, has a safety lock on it as well to keep it from opening when you don't want it to. Uh, but uh, otherwise it's a spring assist knife for easy one hand opening. And that's the Game Raider uh, folding knife. And then we get into a few smaller versions, which are uh, uh, the blade lengths are under three inches. For a uh, smaller carry, uh, this is called a Hornet. It's got G10 handles with some uh, uh, CNC contouring to the handle. Uh, it's HCR13 MOV blade with uh, a black titanium coating. Uh, it is a ball bearing as well. So it's got the trigger on the back. So you just pull it and it pops open. Uh, very easy to open. And it comes with a uh, pocket clip on the back. Uh, we designed it with a very large coil. Even though it's a small knife, you can choke up on it and get your whole hand on the knife and, uh, and use it. So uh, uh, there's a big large coal for your finger there that helps with the gripping of this small knife. And this is under three inches in blade length, which makes it legal on all states and on all military bases. Uh, the other two knives we have, they're in the same size, uh, are the Stinger, which is a little bit the same, same difference. It's a flat G10 handle scale, uh, ACR13 MOV blade. Uh, it's got a stone wash look to the blade, uh, and it's very light. Uh, it's got a reversible pocket clip, and it's just a very small and light, easy uh, EDC knife uh, to carry wherever you need to go. And then probably one of our most popular styles is called the Grunt. And this is, a uh, again, a short knife, but wide, and I'll call it a chunky knife. Uh, but it is a HCR13. Uh, it is a liner lock with ball bearing opening. Uh, still has the same trigger on the back for easy opening. And uh, the difference in this knife is what people like to use it for skinning because they can get a good grip on it. It has a swell on the top, so you can put your thumb up there, and you can use it to skin with, and you've got a lot of cutting area because the blade is wide. Uh, and flat. It's got a cut off tip on it as well so you can easily control where you're cutting. And that's the grunt folding knife. And then uh, we've got a few more tactical looking knives uh, in our line. Uh, I want to go to uh, one of our biggest sellers, a little neck knife that we have. We have two versions. We've got it with a paracord wrapping and we've got it with a G10 handle. Uh, but uh, what this knife is, you wear it around your neck and it's called the last defense. Uh, when you pull it out, uh, you got a little neck knife and something to defend yourself with. Uh, these are very reasonable in price, uh, but uh, it comes with a 18-inch neck chain, a molded sheath, and an HCR13 blade. And the entire length uh, is less than three inches here.
It is double-edged. And that's our covert off net knives. And then we also have something that's been very popular in our line for a long time. It's what we'll call our boot knife. And uh, uh, this is a double-edged boot knife with an injection molded handle and a glass breaking tip on the end. Uh, it's got a uh, hole in the center of the tang that fits into a ball into the sheath, which holds it in so it won't come out. Uh, the sheath's molded. Uh, it's got a metal clip on the back. It also comes with a nylon clip. And these are, have snaps on them where you can snap them off if you need to and snap in the other clip. Uh, but you can either lace it in your boots, wear it on your belt, or uh, hook it over the side of your boot. And that's a ABKT boot knife. And then the other spring assist knife we have, um, it's called the Night Tracer. It's just a flat G10 handle, uh, ACR13 MOV blade, uh, black oxide coated. Uh, it's got the uh, uh, safety lock on the black back for the spring assist, and um, very reasonably, reasonably priced, and it has a reversible pocket clip that you can move from the one side to the other, and it's on the uh, tip down pocket clip. And then last but not least are our little uh, uh, engravable marking knives. You can mark the blades or mark the G10. Uh, but these are little lockbacks uh, that are weigh nothing. Uh, they are like uh, two and three quarters inch closed length. Uh, but this is new to our line because we have a lot of people that uh, ask us to have knives uh, that they can engrave and give out uh, as special gifts. And we've done this several times for others. So uh, uh, these are called the Mark II lockback knives. And it comes in OD Green in the G10 and the uh, Coyote 10 in the G10. And that's our uh, ABKT Elite line uh, and the products that we have in our catalog and on our website. Uh, feel free to uh, go on those uh, and check out not only the social media, but also the, uh, the products on the website because there's lots of information on there. And, uh, and again, we stand behind everything we do. Everything has a, a lifetime warranty on any manufacturing issues and uh, we'll replace it for free if there's any issues and without question. So uh, uh, check us out on ABKT inc.com or on our Instagram or Facebook pages.